Good morning, dear friends. It is July 21st, and it is 10 o'clock. And I'm getting ready to make breakfast, but I thought I'd come outside and show you what a dismal, dreary day it looks like we're going to have. You can see the rain clouds. So, and it feels like rain. You know how it just has that, I don't know, damp, rainy feel in the air. And I'm not for sure if the grass, I have to step out in it, do my barefoot earthly thing. Yes, and I don't know if it's just the dew or if it rained, but it's definitely wet. Dawn is... Let me show you the sunflowers. It's so pretty. They're not going to be around very long. I showed you that one at Jones that was, that thing had to have been six and a half, seven feet tall. There wasn't a flower on it, I don't believe, but it was just the leaves. This is a, but it's so pretty. A little bit deformed, but it's pretty. Anyways, I uh, told you about that car accident where we got rear-ended at a stoplight and Don's having to take our car in to get it fixed today. Um, luckily, our plan calls for a rental car, so he'll be able to drop the car off, pick up the rental car, and then probably come home for about 45 minutes. I would hope he has that long. And then uh, he has to go to work at the golf course, which he loves. So, having my second cup of coffee. Um, I'm gonna sit down here at my art table for just a minute. I had, I had my youngest daughter, Joan, which you saw a picture of her. She called up laughing last night because it was like after midnight and her younger children, which uh, the older ones are away, so, well, not the oldest, but anyways, I had to laugh because she was laughing because they had watched a couple of my glue book videos and they were finding them totally funny. Um... One of them was an awe that Grandma could cut so well. And I thought, I'm not even cutting well. But they watched it on their TV, so I thought that was lots of fun. And then uh, I had a comment from uh, my friend Jackie of A Day in My Life. And... When I did this one and put the stamps of the stars, she thought I should put a music stamp right there. So, I think I put, you can't tell these are music, but they are. Aren't they? Well, I do have a music stamp, but she thought I'd put a music stamp right there. So, it's fun. Different uh, comments. So as far as my breakfast, I'm having my second cup of coffee, and I still have a few dishes. Well, Don did these dishes up today, and I still have these from uh, last night. But I did get my pan out, so I've been, I don't have any more turkey sausage, but I do have, let me show you, it's, um, Oh, that's my beloved dog I had before Kendall. That's Tilly. She's a Pomeranian. Uh, let me look down in the refrigerator here. I get these at Costco. And they're bacon crumbles. And you still have to measure them out. I measure them out in a um, tablespoon. So you get... Tablespoon is, let's see if it shows it. I know it's 30 calories. 
Yeah, one tablespoon is 30 calories. And so I think that for breakfast is I'm going to have um, a couple tablespoons of that in my pan. And then I'm going to add the onion and the pepper, which is my favorite combination, but I'm kind of using them up. And this is my second cup of coffee I just made. And believe it or not, this is a tablespoon too. Let's see. Does it say on it? Kind of got the creamer on it, but my friend Brenda was commenting on this one I used the other day, which is my favorite one to use, and it's one tablespoon. It's the only one I have, though, and I don't even know where I got it from. Isn't that cute? She would like a set of these for her granddaughter for her uh, birthday. So, I don't know where it came from, but I do love it. And it's it's a nice, thick plastic. This is not thin at all. Like, I don't I would have to try with all my might to break that, which I wouldn't do. But, anyways, so that's my coffee. And then I'm going to make the scramble. And I can either take a picture of it or come back and show you. But it's already been six and a half minutes, so... God bless you. I will be back in a little bit. See you then. All right. Here is my... Uh, I ended up using three tablespoons of the crumpled bacon, a half a cup of onions, and a half a cup of the peppers. And then this is the sugar-free Polynesian sauce. And two tablespoons only has 10 calories. So... And this is delicious. That's kind of like a Polynesian sauce you can get at, uh, oh, let's see that place, Chick-fil-A. So if you've ever had that, it's pretty good stuff. <coughs> I don't go to Chick-fil-A very much, but I do know their Polynesian sauce, which is why I wanted some of this. It's empty. All right, well, I'm making Don some french fries. I'm going to not fry them, but I'm going to bake them with, uh, you can get this at Aldi's. It's uh, olive oil spray. So, and I always use, this is my to-go seasoning, bagel seasoning. That's at Aldi's, too. All right, there's my breakfast, so I'm going to roll it up with two hands, and I'll see you later. Hi again, I just thought I'd show you the oven baked fries, and they're so good. Let's see, tested one of them right here. See how nice it is? And I saved out 100 grams of potato. For me and it's only made with this and a little salt that's all it is and for myself uh, for lunch I'm making uh, salmon burgers I only have one the others for the refrigerator and then for dawn I'm making um, chicken nuggets that are made with panko we get those at Costco too kind of been a hard day uh, whenever you know somebody that's really hurting and I do right now um, emotionally spiritually relationship wise with their relationships um, and they're asking for prayer so I will ask you to pray for this person uh, God knows who it is and I'm not really free to say but they definitely have mental health issue to deal with besides some deep hurts that are very real that need to be dealt with. So if you will pray for that person, I appreciate it. And I'll be back a little later. Hi 
again friends it is now um, quarter to seven and I am making some dinner this is uh, kielbasa sausage and I'm going to fry it up this is actually two servings I don't know if I'll eat both servings or not it's uh, 224 grams but I shall see I'm really kind of not that hungry but I love kielbasa and once in a while I do have it and I'm the only thing I'm gonna have with this little bit of sauerkraut so my day's been pretty good I it's been kind of an emotional day but for me it's been a good day just emotional because of somebody I love that's kind of going through the a hard time right now and I'm a I love this person plus I'm a very empathetic person and so when somebody else is hurting it makes me hurt so it's kind of been a quiet day uh, Don's still at work with the golf course and he's having um, like it's a called a dirty rice it's a New Orleans kind of dish and it has some ground beef in it and it has kidney beans along with the rice and the spices but I've got some of that left over from uh, the other night for him and I am going to have this is a fourth a cup so I'm going to have a half a cup of this, which I don't know if I can, if I can get a, i uh, go like this, see if I can do it. I have to hold the jar a little bit. Okay. This is also from Aldi's. We like Aldi's a lot. And this is a German style kraut. And it is 10 calories for a half a cup. So being 10 calories, I think I'm going to have one and a half cups. So that will be 15 calories. And that way, I can cover the whole thing up. <laughs> And then, like I always do, I have to put my favorite seasoning on it. I don't see right. Oh, there it is. Hiding is the um, everything bagel seasoning. Not only does it put put garlic and onion. I don't know if those are caraway seeds or. Sesame seeds, I don't know, put some seeds on there. So that's what I'm gonna have. And got my shower and put on my dress and put on a sweater and turn the temp the air conditioning up. It was getting too cold in here. I think it's set on 74, so it shouldn't be that cold, but now I got cold. Anyways, I'm just turning these uh, little medallions. So, what's going on today? Well, I about drove my nut, myself nuts. I can't remember if it was a year or two ago. Probably a year and a half to two years ago. I watched a video on YouTube. And I thought I saved it, but maybe I didn't. I don't know the name of it. I don't know the guy that was singing it. It was, it was a song I've... And I can't even remember, it's like a female jazz singer. He was doing an imitation of the song. I know so little about it, but yet, for some reason, I had a desire to listen to it. I did on Facebook put uh, a 
couple, well, no, I'll put one this time. I listened to a couple, but uh, BG songs. If any of you guys are BG fans, we actually saw the Bee Gees in kind of an up close and personal setting. My husband had a friend that was playing, uh, just singing and playing his guitar at a local hotel. And it was late one night, and I went with them. We were still dating. And it was just a little tiny hotel bar. And the only people in there was, I think, maybe two other people. Don, myself, the guy that was playing the music, Tom T. Hall, and the Bee Gees. And back then I used to be so terribly shy. I have a picture. Let me show you a picture of that time period. Uh, probably this one, because we'd just gotten engaged. So it was probably even before we were engaged. <laughs> Anyways. Kind of neat, just... I knew the Bee Gees back then, definitely, because this is 1975. So I definitely knew who they were, but they were just in relaxing and getting a drink at the bar and probably wouldn't have been appropriate for me to go up, but today I would have been gaga, gaga after them. So <laughs> I said, oh, whatever, I don't know what I would have said, probably nothing. I'm kind of like that. <laughs> I have it in my head what I want to say, but I'd probably never say it. Well, anyways, hope you guys have a good night and pray for your loved ones. They go through hard times just like we do and they need extra prayer. It's now been seven minutes, so this is going to be a long video. Love you guys.